Alana Bush with your CID TV News Brief on this Thursday. On News Brief Wednesday, we told you about the history of the Parliament building 50 years later. Next Thursday, the 21st of July, 50th anniversary celebrations will be held inside and outside Parliament. Today we hear from Speaker of the House, the Honorable McKeever Bush, as he explains more about an invite-only lecture series, as well as a commemorative booklet for the public to have. The main highlight and, and most essential aspect of this event is a timely, um, I think, lecture at 4.30 p.m. on the separations of powers. Now that we are recently become an autonomous parliament, less than two years now, um, the lecture will be given by the, the renowned Dr. Lloyd Barnett, who is a constitutional and, a, and acclaimed lawyer who appears at many levels of the judicial system, from the Grand Court, the Supreme Court, the Court of Appeal, the Caribbean Court of Justice, and the Privy Council of the United Kingdom. He has, uh, I think, also appeared in Cayman courts in landmark cases concerning um, prescriptive rights, among other things. So undoubtedly, um, Dr. Barnett has years of experience and is a well-respected legal luminary. Um, I'm looking forward to this discussion on the separation of powers. It's very important, the separation of powers between the legislative, the judicial, and the executive branches of government. We decided that there should be a booklet and that gives a succinct and um, historic perspective of the evolution of the Parliament building that will tell the story of the Parliament building. And the, the book contains, um, but not limited to a message from, from myself as speaker, a history of the legislature, um, the story on the um, Princess Royal Park, the architectural competition, the laying of the cornerstone, the opening um, ceremony, the, the members in 1972, and, and 50 years of parliamentarians, among other things. So um, the booklet is going to be an interesting keepsake for the public. The lecture series will be held inside the Parliament Chamber, while the public national celebration will take place outside starting at 6 p.m. There will be entertainment, including performances by school children until 8 p.m. For the public to enjoy. Well, recently hundreds of children from the Theoline McCoy Primary School in Bodentown enjoyed festivities at an end of year fun day hosted by officers of Her Majesty's Cayman Islands Prison Service Football Club and Welfare Committee. Here we have a lovely fun day that's sponsored by Her Majesty's Cayman Islands Prison Service. Um, we have a partnership with the prison officers and they come into the school and they do the work with our students, especially those who are at risk who may not have um, father figures or male mentors um, to look up to. And so they wanted to partner with our school to make sure that we have those students in mind and that we can provide for them outside of the curriculum, outside of the classroom, and to provide for their emotional and social well-being. Prison officials tell us that the prison's organizational culture is to help change attitudes and change lives and to make an overall positive impact on the community. At the fun day, the students enjoyed games, refreshments, and competitions held for prizes. The Botanic Park's Children's Garden will benefit from an upcoming 5K run walk. The Tourism Attraction Board and the Queen Elizabeth II Botanic Park are inviting the community to take part in the attraction's second annual fundraising event this Sunday, the 17th of July. Monies raised from the event will go towards the completion of the Children's Garden Project, which is still under development. The $25 entry fee includes chip timing by Race Caribbean, by Race Caribbean refreshments, a prize ceremony, and a T-shirt, although we understand from the Botanic Park's general manager, John Loris, that shirts are limited. You can go online to racecaribbean.net to get registered. Main sponsors include the Ministry of Tourism and Transport and Ministry of Youth, Sports, Culture, and Heritage. The forecast calls for mainly fair skies with a 20% chance of showers tonight. Seas will be moderate to slight with wave heights of 2 to 4 feet. The two-day outlook is for similar weather conditions through to Sunday morning. Turning to the synopsis, it calls for light to moderate easterly winds and seas, which are expected across the Cayman Islands area for the next 24 hours. That's in association with a ridge north of the Caribbean. Hazy conditions are expected to continue today as a plume of Sahara dust lingers over the Western Caribbean. 
Always remember you can find the latest local weather conditions online at weather.gov.ky. And that ends today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush. Thank you for joining us. I wish you a safe and wonderful night.